Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Daughter of Increase. My name is Nazanice, nice for those of you who are new to the channel or who just happened to stumble across this video. And I post new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday all about my faith, God, Christ, and expanding the kingdom of God. So, I'm back to do another study with me. Um, I'm diving back into lesson two of the summer Sunday school booklet, my brain. Summer school booklet, lesson two, um, which is on... Gideon. It's the call of Gideon. Um, and I'm diving in because I was supposed to do this last Sunday, but I didn't do it last Sunday. Um, this is second Sunday, so I'm teaching next Sunday for the third lesson, which is on Gideon as well. So I'm trying to get through all of this lesson for lesson two so that throughout the week I can really deep dive into lesson three. Um, because I'm going to pre-record just in case I can't go live. Um, but yes, I'm excited for this. Um, so yeah, it's just gonna be like the last time. So the pens I'm using, of course, are my Zebra F301 and G301. The F301 is a ballpoint pen, and I use that to write scriptures as well as to mark up my Bible. And then the G301, if you guys can see that, is it going to focus? Yeah, the G301 is a ballpoint pen. I am using the Le Pen pack in the dark colors. I got this from Walmart. So I picked up four packs of these from Walmart, but I'm using the one that has dark colors. I have my Zebra Mile Liner brush liner tip highlighters and four Bibles. Um, so I have my beloved New King James Spirit Filled Life Bible, my beloved Woman Study Bible in the King James from Thomas Nelson, my what is this Fisher of Men CSB Bible. Um, which is basically like a Bible for evangelists. Um, and then the Thompson chain reference. So I'm going to do it like I did before, but I'm probably not going to do any discussion until after I'm done with the entire study. Um, so yeah, I'll be studying Judges 6 in its entirety, Joshua 1, Genesis 18, and Psalms 77 for this study. So... I'm set to go. I have my notebook already set. Here it is. Same notebook from last time. So, lesson two, the call of Gideon. Monday says the oppression oppressed by the Midianites. Judges 6, 1 through 10. I already read it. Um, so, I'm just going to go back in it and mark with my annotating key that I use in my Bible. And I will have a video, uh, updated video on this New King James Barefoot Life Bible as well as my Bible annotating key because I do annotate in this Bible. I didn't at first, um, but I feel like it's better to annotate in the Bible. So, yes, um, I am eating the rest of my lunch. So, yeah, and I have my iced coffee. So, delicious, delicious. Homemade in my um, Dunkin' Donuts tumblr but yeah i'm just gonna dive in i'm gonna play some worship music so let's get into this
okay guys i'm done um the video actually recorded for about three and a half hours but um it's definitely going to be sped up so it's probably going to be like maybe a 30 minute video because i'm speeding up that portion of me studying but um it was good it was good i mean i didn't get a lot like i did before um from the first study when we read, when i read through judges three but um judges six was pretty good it's pretty much setting the foundation for who gideon is so i'll be focusing on judges seven when i teach next sunday so um i'm not gonna really record that video just because i have to do it because i'm behind on actually preparing for that <laughs> so um yeah i'm done um you guys saw that i did take a minute to play some animal crossing on my switch um i i tend to spend hours at a time studying um especially when i'm like in depth um my devotional times is pretty short anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour but when i'm doing any type of study or if i'm doing my lessons in the sunday school book because i do them all in one day it takes about two to three hours um i didn't use my laptop because um the weekends i have decided no laptop i tried to keep my computer on this weekend and um it completely shut down again on me this is the third time that it it has done that when i told the lord that i was gonna close my computer and i didn't close it and it literally like shut down so we we gonna we gonna stop playing so after friday friday night will be my last day and then saturdays and sundays i will not have my computer on unless i have to do something on the computer for church but um saturday i do my sabbath so i don't do any work on saturdays so yeah i didn't have my computer out so all of this is just basically notes that i got from my brain um and a little bit from the study notes there is one thing i do have to look up and i actually left that area blank can you see it right here is um they served seven years i want to look up the number seven um and what it means so i'm going to go back to that bible study tools website with the, when they talk about the numbers um but yeah take a break it was like a 10 15 minute break just to play animal crossing just to clear my mind because it was getting a little heavy um got my game again i'm gonna play some more before my school comes but yeah it was good so here are the notes pretty good notes pretty good notes so i'm just going to i'm actually going to set my page up for the following study lesson three which is the one i'm teaching so i definitely have to go like in depth so i probably won't do my devotionals this week um i'll probably do the readings the, the daily readings as my um Debo for the week um this is lesson three and this is gideon defeats the midianites yeah i just want to set my page because i have to have my pre-recorded video in on friday because i'm not 100 percent sure if i'm going to be home as it is um okay so the plan is for me to go to my son's father's house um sunday evening once i get back from where i'm going um i'm going somewhere <laughs> uh so that is the plan so I, I pretty much probably knew that i probably wasn't gonna be able to go live for um sunday school lesson so i definitely have to record that video and i have to send it in friday so i definitely have to spend monday through um monday through wednesday really studying that way thursday evening i can try to record it or at least friday morning i can record it edit it in the afternoon and send it to him before the evening um because pretty much me and the past administration we do our sabbath on saturday so we really don't do any work i was going to send it saturday but i forgot that he also has switched his days from sundays to saturdays so um we're pretty much both off from work administrative wise um unless it's like emergency type stuff so i have to send it friday so that means i have to make sure that i'm ready and prepared to record so yeah um so i have it set up let me um i'm excited though i really enjoy the story of gideon and um just getting the background information about gideon was really really interesting i'm gonna share with you guys my key points that i got quickly but um, let me just prepare for Monday. I'm probably going to do two a day. So Monday, I'll do Monday and Tuesday. Wednesday, Tuesday, I'll do Wednesday and Thursday. And then Wednesday, I'll do Friday. 
Saturday, Sunday, that way Thursday I can just focus on the actual lesson text that they have in the book. Um, sorry if I'm looking this way, I forgot that I, my camera's flipped around because I'm charging it right now, so I have to look this way and not that way. Eh. But um, yeah, so let me set Monday up. So Monday is going to be reducing. Oh, yes, Jesus, I'm excited. So my, basically my lesson plan is really focused on um, Gideon's army and how he defeated the Midianites with 300 men. <laughs> Love it. So um, I'm excited. Reducing Gideon's army. So I'm super, super excited. This will be my first time teaching Sunday school. I've actually, I was actually supposed to teach Sunday school earlier this year, but I kept pushing it off. So I'm finally teaching. I'm excited. I'm nervous at the same time because it's very different from me teaching with you guys. Um, I don't know when I when I'm speaking in front of people that I personally like know and that know me or parts of me, it becomes nerve wracking. So yeah, I'm kind of happy I have to do a recorded video and I won't be live. <laughs> but um, that's gonna be Judges seven one through eight. Okay, so I have my page set up for that. Let's put that to the side, put my bookmark in here. And then I'll run through some of the things that I got from the lesson. So Mondays. Monday was oppressed by the Midianites. That was Judges 6, 1 through 10. Um, really, I picked picked out two questions um, and a very important point as well. So the f first question was, how many times can you knowingly sin and feign ignorance? There's so many times that we um, know what's wrong. Like we know it's wrong to do certain things and we continue to do it because we know that God is a forgiving father. But we also need to understand that he will allow you to fall into your sin, um, to be taken over by your sin, to humble you. So that was a good question that I had wrote down. I'm um, just to keep in the forefront of my mind as well as um, do I obey the voice of God? because um Gideon was told to do something and he did it so just a quick question um also that God sent a prophet to uh it says God sent the prophet for the purpose of letting the children of Israel know that they were disobedient but they never mentioned the prophet's name and I know that in the Bible they tend to mention a lot of the important prophet's name so i think that's interesting that they left the unnamed prophet so um was he like a one-time prophet was it just someone that god quickly picked out out of the blue just to give a word like i don't know um also it said that um there was this part in the scripture where it says that they hid from the midianites in caves and dens and things like that and i put that israel feared man more than god so they hid in caves and darkness so basically when you do evil you tend to get consumed by evil and then you hide in your evil because you're afraid to get out of that evil kind of thing. So that's what I wrote. Um, for Tuesday, it was about destroying Baal's worship. Um, so basically, it was the first assignment that God gave before getting the army. Um, basically told Gideon to destroy the Baal idol, and he did. Um, but I thought it was interesting because, um, again, with the questions, I got that, am I in a position to hear his voice? Um, I don't think I'm always in a position to hear the voice of God honestly um i know that i do hear him but i'm not always openly in a position to hear him because sometimes my mind is so clogged with other things um and then the there was a part where the men of the city were upset when they came to see that the idol was um thrown down and broken um and i put that they were upset about an idol rather than fearing god so the question then becomes is do you fear your idol or do you fear god um then there was a part where joash i think was speaking to the men of the city joash is gideon's father he was speaking to the men of the city and um he was saying how are you going to plead for baal an idol you know let him plead for himself if baal is a god in a sense shouldn't this god have more power to save himself to do better um that immediately brought me to the whole jesus being on the cross and um that they were saying how you know he should be able to save himself um i really thought about that but it has no correlation at all because Baal is an idol and jesus is jesus but it just brought that to mind um wednesday 
was Gideon's fleece test. So basically Gideon was testing um, God, but he wasn't testing him um, on faith. He just wanted reassurance of um, the mission that God gave him. So I thought that was interesting. I put that Gideon remained humble before God. God never has to do a thing, but he does. Um, we're not to act entitled. Gideon didn't act as if he deserved what God asked of him. Um, he definitely went to God with a humble heart, humility and everything. Even when he was asking for God to show a sign, he was humbled in it. Um, he didn't feel he deserved it or had a right to it. Um, and then I put that I can boldly ask for God's assurance. Um, it is okay to ask him for a sign. But the question is, what is your heart? What was in your heart when you're asking for that? Um, Thursday was about remembering God's works of the old. Um, it was reading Psalms and just remembering who God is, um, his works, remembering what he is to you, who you are as a child, um, and choosing to worship when your faith feels like it's dwindling. Um, Friday was commanded to have courage. It was just recent reading Joshua 1, 1 through 9. Um, and I put walk courageously in obedience. Um, and am I ready to courageously step into the assignment that God has for me? Um, so I, that was a question I put Saturday. If you guys would have saw my face when I was just like, I didn't know. Yeah, Saturday was a little weird because we had to read Genesis 18, 3 to 8. And it was just about Abraham when he met um, the two angels and God and didn't realize who they were. Um, so, yeah, I didn't really understand that. But then Sunday was pretty good. Um, what did I get? What did I get? Oh, that the angel of the Lord immediately calls him a uh, mighty man of valor. A lot of the times we don't see ourselves um, in the future. Uh, in the future, We don't see ourselves as what God sees us as in the future. So when God is speaking to us, he's not speaking to the present us. He's speaking to the future us in our present, in our present time. So I th thought that was interesting. Um, and then there was another thing when Gideon had asked for a sign to ensure that he, it was, that he was speaking to God. And I put that... When you hear a voice, do you make sure that it's God's voice? Because a lot of the times, a lot of us can get confused um, because there's always going to be three voices. Your voice, God's voice, and the enemy's voice. Um, and sometimes those voices can be, um, what is the word? They can be squished up, mushed up, whatever in your mind, and you really don't know. I know for me, there's sometimes when I think I heard something from God, but then come to find out it's really not God, it's the enemy. So are you really making sure that you're hearing from God? And if you're unsure, are you asking God if it's him? Because God will let you know if it's, if it's him or not. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, it is currently 5.06 now. I started this at 12. I take that back. It wasn't 12. Was it 12? It was about 1-ish when I started. So, yeah. Um, gonna go play some Animal Crossing, clean out my mess, put my Bibles back up where they belong. And, um... Yeah, if you guys want to keep, want me to keep this, oh, I keep looking that way. If you guys want me to keep this series up, just let me know. Um, it's literally me just studying and you guys seeing me study. Um, yes, I have a tendency when I'm listening to gospel music. But this is why I had stopped listening to gospel music for a long time when I was studying and just was listening to like instrumentals because as you guys can see, I like to worship and um, I am a dancer. <laughs> I do praise worship. Um, I do praise dance, liturgical dance, however you want to call it. Um, so anytime I hear a song, I feel like I have to move to it. So that's what I do. And then I sing along with the song. So that's why a lot of the times I do not listen to gospel music because I can be studying for five hours and really two or three of them hours is me just pausing every few minutes to sing and dance. <laughs> so that is it. Um, I'm done for today. I will get up, like I said, in the morning and study probably do three of them tomorrow as my morning devotional. But um, that is it. The only thing I have to do today is my actual faith planner. Um, just reading the, the reading plan that I'm doing right now on um, the Holy Bible app. But other than that, that is it. If you guys have any comments, questions, concerns, want any more in-depth videos of me studying, I can do that. But um, I do. So with these Le Pen pens, I like these a lot. I'm really, really enjoying them. Um, they do. I don't like Le pens had that little ink when the ink kind of like seeps when you get to a point like when you start and when you end a word or a letter i hate that but um these are not that bad i really like them so again i have three colors um three four packs excuse me i have dark colors i have the pastel colors i have the le pen neon colors and then i have the bright and i got all four of these 
from Walmart. They were not expensive at all. Um, they were less than less than fifteen dollars, if I'm not mistaken. So you can find these at Walmart um, or Amazon. But I would definitely say go to Walmart first because Walmart is always cheaper. Um, I do have a video coming on these pens. Um, I also have another pen. I have a bunch of pen reviews coming because, like I said, I did go out to get some pens to try out in my journaling bible. Um, and I'm also being sent a pair of pack, a pair of pack. What? I'm pair. I'm also being sent a pack of pens um, to review for you guys, which I'm super excited to be working with the company. Um, so yeah, and that's it for now. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.